Hey, look up, please. Hey. Hey, no one talk. No one talk. Okay, the problem we just worked, the, the discussion we just had on the fundamental theorem of calculus, I'm not exaggerating. There's 108 points possible on the AP test. Understanding all ideas associated with the fundamental theorem unlocks the possibility of gaining about 30 points or more. Lots of questions about the fundamental theorem. This question is about a slope field for a differential equation. Uh, by comparison, my experience has been that at most you might earn two points out of 108 for slope field ideas. So that means the previous discussion was 15 times more important than the current discussion. Okay, don't stop listening, but you know. Okay. Um, <laughs> Why are you asking this? Okay, um, another warning. I personally have found these problems to consume a lot of time where they give me a slope field and they ask me to find the formula that matches. So I have not ever wanted to do those the first time through the test, nor the second. The third time through the test, yeah, I'll give it a shot. But I gotta get, Mr. Rector had the analogy of the Easter eggs. When you're doing an Easter egg hunt, if you watch any little kid, Little kids do not go looking under bushes and rocks and trees. They run as fast as they can to all the eggs that are laid out in front of them. And then once those are gone, then they start looking elsewhere. Okay, you've got to do the same thing on the AP tabs. You got to get the easy points first, then the medium, then the hard. Okay? Question. All right, here's what I would do if I had some time. I'm like, here, let's try and get another point. Um, remember. A slope field, hey, a slope field is created by graphing what the slopes of a function will look like. So they create a slope field by having some differential equation, dy dx. And there's a formula. And they use that formula at all these different points that you see to show what the slope of f will look like. So if we go to the point they're talking about, 0 comma 1, so 0, 1, right here, I think, 0.5, yeah. oh, it does say 1.5, that is, yeah, whatever. Um, okay, that means that if the graph of f were to pass through a point at 0 comma 1, the graph of f would be flat at that point. That's what a slope field means. So that part you just have to memorize. That that's what a slope field is telling you. Two points. Please. Maybe, Joan, I just to make sure you're clarified. So at one, you'll see the line is going straight across. Yeah. So that is the slope of f of x at zero one. It's going straight across. Therefore, the slope is zero. So this graph in terms is like the graph of f of x. It's, it's different. Don't think of it as a graph. Okay. A graph is, graph is just points, x's and y's. And so you can have a graph of f, you can have a graph of f prime. A slope field is a picture of what slopes of f look like. It's a picture of what slopes of f look like. There we go. Okay, so here's, there's different ways to solve this. Here's a method. Pick an x that's like easy to work with. Like, I'm thinking maybe 1 would be a good choice. x equal 1 or x equal negative 1. Because if x has a value of 1 or negative 1, raise your hand, please. What value would the blue boxes have if x has a value of 1 or negative 1? Hands up. Oh, dang. Hands down. Two points for the whole room. I'm solving this problem like I was solving a different one. Hold on, we gotta make a comparison here. No wonder I never do these. Um, <laughs> you screw me up. Um, hold on. You gotta compare this to the one we did on the other practice test. Shoot. It's 27. 27 on the 2008, Timmy. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Hold on. Yes. You are all wise to skip it. So. Yeah. Yep. See, I made the mistake. I just keep trying to get none of you to make the mistake. I started solving the problem based on a previous problem instead of focusing on the concept. Problem 27, they give you the differential equations. That one's a bit easier. Like here, you're trying to figure out, okay, which of these differential equations would produce that slope field? Uh, that's more straightforward because this is the formula that created that. These formulas create this. It's still not easy. I still put it in the hard category, but it is easier. Back to this one. I got to figure out which one of these graphs look like what I see in the field. Like the field's going to end up looking like this, like F, because it shows what F looks like at a lot of different points. If you look at that field, there's no way in whatever <laughs> that you're going to see a cosine function in that picture. Like if this was a slope field for this formula, you'd have to be able to see a cosine wave in that, in that field. So the, that, <laughs> two more points, look at me. This is why I keep saying, <laughs> no, it's perfect. I do not find these to be easy problems because most of us don't remember. We're like, well, what do all these functions look like? I studied it a long time ago and like time is just going by. And you're going, I can't remember this, I can't remember that. So don't spend time on this until you have nothing else to do. That would be a, a valid way of doing it. You would have to take the derivative of each equation and say, once I have the derivative, now I can construct the slope field. Then it becomes more like 27 from the 2008 test. But again, time consuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Cosine waves like that. So can you see that there's, that's not represented here at all? Oh, yeah. So that's not a match, please. So you have to make one complete Revolution of the cosine wave, like it can be just part of the cosine wave? Um, it could be part of it because it would all depend on what x's we're graphing. Another point of how it just it starts eating up time again. You're like, okay, now what is that? They're probing my memory, right? For how big is the wave? And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. We've used up all of our time already. You can hopefully see why it's not a good problem to spend time on. I just have never found like a quick route to success. It's like it just eats up time. It's a trap. The tester is just laughing gleefully. <coughs> I'm just gonna snag all these students on these rocks here and they'll never get anything else done. So okay. More students? Time is up off the cliff. That was a very good video. Um, <laughs>